Greetings. Today is September 9th, 2021. <laughs> Last video, I had the wrong date. But anyway, I'm human. I want to talk about co-parenting today. I was discussing some things with a couple of friends yesterday, and it appeared to be a necessary topic of discussion. First, let's get one thing clear. That child did not ask to be here. Number one. Number two, she spread them, he inserted, and the baby came out. Facts. That's the fact of the matter. The child is here, responsibilities on both parties. Both parties are responsible. Whoever has primary custody of the child and whoever has uh, secondary custody of the child are both responsible for that child. Now, Whatever the court documents or your arrangements are, follow them. There is no need for unnecessary arguments. The decision is already made that you can't get alone to stay together. That's why you're not together for the sake of the child. Or for, not even for the sake of the child, for the sake of the relationship. So, ain't no need to argue about anything. Somebody has to recognize this is your strength that is their strength. You need to help each other out. The more strife you add to the situation, the more you're going to push that child into an uncomfortable state because they're going to feel the energy. They're going to feel the tension between mom and dad. They are part of both of you. They are part of both of you. And the more you keep that child from the other parent, guess what? The more you deny that child to identify with who they are. And at a certain age, that child will choose who they're more comfortable to be around one way or another. So let that be the preliminary about any interaction with co-parenting. When you disagree, go to what the court documents say. If you do not have court documents, whoever's keeping the child pretty much calling them, calling the shots. For example, if you're not paying child support, male or female, mother or father, guess what? You pretty much got to deal with the, uh, the primary custodial parent is it, it, saying. And on top of that, if you're not doing what you're supposed to do as a parent, i.e. picking up your child when you're supposed to, or at the least, if you can't pick up the child, Make some arrangement with the other parent to say, hey, look, I got this, this, and this going on. Can you work with me? If they say no, guess what? It's a sacrifice. It's your child. Go get your child. Spend time with your child. Don't be mad at the child because you're mad at the co-parent. That's not fair to the child. You can't say you love your child and you mistreat your child just because you don't like the other parent or you don't get along with the other parent. Let's look at, and I, I tapped on this with the other message. When things are, are, are being sent to one house or the other, it need to go back. If it's a coat or something that the child need on a regular basis, whether it's cold or not, that coat need to go with the child. We're not going to let the weather dictate whether the child wearing the coat or not. Now, if it's summertime, there's something different. But I'm saying, if it's in, in cold weather season, the child need to have a coat available. And you shouldn't have to buy a coat every time you turn around because one parent too sorry, I'm gonna say it too sorry, to send the coat back with the child. Be responsible, be responsible. If you weren't responsible enough to use a condom to prevent or a plan B or whatever it is that uh, you could have did to prevent having a the child, then guess what? Be responsible that the child is here. Yes, random times, accidents do happen. I know one time there was death in the family and I just, I forgot to pick up my child. Whether it's excusable or not, you know, it was a new uh, custody arrangement or whatever. And I just plumb lost track of the days with, with dealing with the loss. Now, we do have certain circumstances that are forgivable. Got contacted you know, worked it out with the other parent or what have you. And it's just like, hey, 
but that's random times. And sometimes, you know, I work late hours or I'm working on a, a, a site that ain't safe for my children to be able to, hey, hey, look, you know, can can so and so stay with you? You know, because it ain't, you know, it, it's not gonna be cool for her to be with me around this this space or whatever. And you know, if, if that don't work, you know, I got other family that my child can stay with or what have you. You make the necessary adjustments. When your child with you, your child should visit the family that you got. Now, if it's a family reunion, you know, hey, you can make concessions to the custody arrangement and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I look at changing gears. I look at these dudes who do not pay child support. Not that I'm envious, okay? But some of y'all dudes just sorry. Just sorry. You want to dictate everything but you ain't paying child support. You ain't got nothing to say. If you ain't consistently paying child support, to me, you a sorry dude. Because it, you know, whatever the woman doing with the money, and I tell you, sometimes I look at what, you know, some co-parents did with the money and I'm just like, <laughs> You know, but you know what? It's still for the child. I'm doing my part. I'm keeping my brown tail out of jail. <laughs> Facts. Because uh, that's pretty much how I set up. You don't pay. <laughs> Especially if you're on uh, 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 income deduction through the state or, or things like that. So it's either pay <laughs> or don't pay as go. So figure out where you want to be with this furthermore some of y'all co-parents women especially are just very controlling and because you mad at the daddy you gonna do all this little mean manipulative stuff oh you can't see him or uh, you know make it difficult you know oh make sure you know this 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 all the extra rules that not even in the in the in the co-parenting agreement it's like at what point are we going to just be fair about this? I know at one point, I'm just jumping through hoops because I did. I, I I was stupid. I wanted to be back with with the, um, with, with the mother of my child. And it was just like, okay, whatever you say. You know, and I'm just stupid because I'm just going along with it. And then when you when you, when you you set that fire, it's hard to put it out. And they're going to keep, you know, pushing, pushing, pushing. And then the, the court threats go on and the manipulation goes on. And it's, I don't feel like I don't want to hire no lawyer. I want to go through this, da da da. But you got to look about what you start. If you don't stand your ground on what's right, people will take advantage. So get your feelings in check about it. You shouldn't have any more arguments with a co parent. If you got an argument still, then get some counseling. Figure it out. And at some point, you just need to become numb to it. Hey, it is what it is. We ain't agree to be together. I'm doing my part for the child. You do your part for the child. And if it's a gift for the child and the child decides he want to take it to one place or the other, that should be okay. And if the child decides to take the gift one place to another and want to leave it there, you know, and need it back, hey, Make sure the child take it back with them. Or make some concession to get it back over there. Like a toy or something like that. And don't send no toys to the other parent house when you know it's going to create a problem. Like, you send some old messy stuff over there. And especially if it's a under, you know, child under seven, eight years old, it's not the clean, cleanest of, 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 of not mature enough to be as clean as they need to be. So, you send some old, you know, silly putty and, you know, stuff that another parent gonna have to clean up behind. You just being, you being petty. Cause you know the parent gonna have to clean some stuff up like that. And if the co-parent is allowing you to, 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 to visit the child based on whatever the, the visitation is at, in their space or whatever, be respectful of their space. Be respectful. Clean up what you mess up. Be respectful. <laughs> but, hey, I'm talking to grown folks. And grown folks ain't all the way grown. And sometimes we need to grow up. Read what the chapter love say. I ain't talking about any little ooh, baby, ooh, ooh, ooh. No, I'm talking about the love walk. 
Hope the best. Be kind to each other. Be patient. Seek understanding before you start going off. Do you really got a clear understanding of what this person's saying before you start to go ham on the situation that is? Think about it. Why have unnecessary arguments just because you thought you heard something? Recognize your audience. If you know you're dealing with somebody, I'm just going to keep it real, who is a very literal person and take everything you say, even if you're saying something sarcastic, literally, you the one who being stupid. Because you know, they go, they go, it's send it, you know, they take it as a literal thing. Because they don't understand like that. At some point, you got to stop trying to make people jump to your tune and recognize this is who they are. This is how I got to deal with them. It's just the responsibility of the relationship. It may not be an intimate relationship, but guess what? It's a co-parenting relationship. You should, changing gears, you should be able to talk about school and strategy if a child is not doing well in school. You should be grown enough, no matter what age the child is, unless they pass 18, where it's like, hey, <laughs> they got to figure it out on their own at that point. But if they high school age or on down, then both parents should be able to come up with a strategy and talk about it, because it's for the child. If a child don't receive a high school diploma, I mean, come on. What they gonna do out here? There's only so many labor jobs without a high school diploma that's left. Everybody can't work fast food. It's just not gonna happen. So, think about the child. Think about, do you still got feelings and are you trying to be manipulative, mean, get back, throw stabs, jabs, jealousy, whatever. And you might not even want them, but it's just like you don't want nobody else to have him or her. So you acting stupid about it. Stupid mean you should know better at this point, at this age. So grow up. Co-parenting is for the child to be benefited while the parents have not learned how to get along. Well, since the parents have not learned how to maintain a relationship. So Be slow to get an attitude, get mad, get in your feelings, however you want to hear it, when somebody is not doing oh, what you want them to do, jump into your tomb. If they taking care of their responsibilities, if they sending their child support every month like they're supposed to, if they picking up their child like they're supposed to, what you got to say? Really, what you got to say about it? You shouldn't have anything to say about that situation. If the if the uh, if the uh, either parent decides to deal in another relationship, that's their choice. You're not with them. You're not taking care of their physical, emotional, spiritual, financial. Well, some financial, but you know needs that they got. Everybody got an itch that they need to be scratched at some point, and you can't sit up here and hold somebody to to something that. You couldn't make work. And you probably don't want to make work. So let people move on. Really let people move on. Seek some healing. Seek some counseling. After a relationship. So you don't have to carry the grudges and be mean spirited. Life goes on. Time don't stop for nobody. It doesn't. And that child gonna keep growing and learning and catching what you do where that child is concerned. Catching it. So think about what you want that child to catch. Are you talking bad about the other parent around the parent, around the other child? Are, are you showing animosity to the parent, to the co-parent in front of the child? The worst thing you can do is dog out the other half of your child in front of your child. That's just plain sorry. And another thing, stop having so many grown folk conversations in front of your child. They not mature enough to understand everything you're saying in the context that it needs to be. And sometimes you just immature with your mouth and your mouth is reckless. 
saying whatever you want to say in front of the child. And you don't think the child don't have feelings or understanding or somewhat understanding and, and some misinterpretation. And then you may raise the child to be disrespectful to the other parent. And then the other parent got to check that. And then, it, you know, a lot of times is a, a mother talking about a father in a negative way. And then the child disrespects the father. And the, child's, the father's like, okay, I don't spend that much time with you. So it's a delicate balance between, you know, do I get in your junk? Or how do I, based on the maturity of the father, because everybody ain't mature. So it's like, what, what, what you expect to happen? You know who you laid down with. What you expect to happen? And I mean, just because you grew up, that don't mean another person grew up. They go both ways. Just because you grew up, that don't mean another person grew up. Just because you changed, that don't mean another person changed. Think, folks. Think. Life don't just turn out peachy just because time goes on. You have to put forth effort, just like you go to work every day, just like you get out to bed every day. God bless relationships, God bless co-parenting, God bless children. Great is the peace of our children, in Jesus' name.